What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Car Chronicles. So, I have just been having this recurring, like, I guess, message that I've been seeing over and over again um, for the past week. And that message has been about starting over. And that it really is okay for us to start over. And I know like, you know, I'm, I'm in my fifties. I am, you know, 52. And when we get to this age, it kind of gets scary. Like this is the age where people are concerned about starting over and what people are going to think about them and what people are going to say. And you know, the message that I've been getting is that it really is okay. It's okay for us to try something new, um, to be, to reinvent ourselves, to rebrand ourselves. And, you know, a few days ago, I actually reached out to someone because that's something that I'm doing. I'm actually starting new. I'm starting fresh, so to speak. So I reached out to someone because, um, to see if their company needed someone to come in for professional development days and offering my services to do um, employee wellness training, stress management, change management, that kind of thing. And so they made the comment of, oh, so this is what you're doing now? Oh, you're doing something new? Like, and I was just like, girlfriend, like, Hey, this is technically not new. This is something that I have done in the past and I just didn't advertise it. I didn't talk about it. Um, but it's also a skill and a gift that I realized that I do have that I'm very good at and that I enjoy. And at this age in my life, I want to start re-tapping into those things that bring me joy, that bring me happiness. And so, yes, this is something that I'm doing. So back to the original question, does your company need someone to come in for professional development days? Like, you know, I didn't let what they thought about me doing something new or what they perceived as being new to distract me or deter me. Now, I will say this, that after I finished that phone call with that individual who, no, they did not book me, I had two individuals who did say, hey, let's get a contract going. Let's, you know, figure this out. We'd love to have you. And so my message to you today is this. It is okay to do something new. It's okay to rebrand yourself. It's okay to refresh, you know, just like we refresh the computer screen. It's okay to refresh ourselves as individuals. It is okay to tap into those gifts and those skills and those talents that we may have used in the past, but we are now fully using now to revisit those, especially if you're starting to get bored or feeling stagnant in your current career or where you are. It's okay to kind of reassess yourself and say, you know what, I did enjoy doing that. Why did I stop? I wonder how I can use that today. Because here's the thing, whatever God has poured into you as an individual, he's really preparing you for where he wants you to be in the future. So none of your gifts and your skills and your talents are wasted. Some things that we learn in the past, we don't even realize why we're being put in a position to receive those things, to, you know, really sharpen those skills and those talents until we get into the future, which is the present. And we're like, oh, you know what? All right, now I understand why I had to do X, Y, and Z because I was supposed to be here and I was supposed to be doing this. So don't let anyone deter you from tapping into your gifts and your talents. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't start all over again. Don't let anyone tell you you can't rebrand yourself, that you can't hit refresh on your career at the age of 40, 50, or 60, that you can't try something new as you get older in life. 
We are supposed to evolve as people. That is something that we are naturally supposed to do. We are not supposed to remain the same person that we were 20 and 30 years ago. There should be a constant evolution taking place in your life, which means that it's also taking place in your career as well. So if you want to start that online boutique, girlfriend, go for it. If you want to try your hand at speaking because you have been doing presentations at your job and trainings at your job for the past 20 years, knock yourself out. Don't let nobody talk you out of that. If you want to try out for a fitness competition and it's going to require you to do some work, but you've been eating healthy and this is something you want to do, go for it. You want to write a cookbook, do your thing. My thing is don't let anyone, don't let the naysayers, don't listen to the naysayers, don't listen to the haters, don't listen to the people who are still stuck in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. Don't listen to them. You do you, boo, okay? You continue to evolve. You continue to have these new seasons in your life because as Ecclesiastic says, for everything, there's a season. There's a time under the sun for everything in your life to begin, but also to end. And so it's okay for us to shed some things, but it's also okay for us to go back and pick some things up because now that we're more seasoned as an individual, we know how to cultivate them and really take them to the next level. So my name is Dr. Kira Yazid. If you've enjoyed today's Car Chronicle, hey, make sure you check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, I'm on LinkedIn, sometimes on Twitter and YouTube. If this message touched you or you know it needs to touch somebody that you know, share this out with them. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button so that everybody else knows. Until next Sunday, have a great one.